Hi girls, it's Miss Madison. So today we're going to talk a little bit about muscle memory and how we can use that to improve our artwork. So let's go ahead and get started. So muscle memory is something that we use all the time, even when we don't really realize that we're using it. Um, and the way it works is essentially the more you do something, you know, you remember it, right? Your brain remembers it, but your muscles also remember it. So the biggest way that we use muscle memory is when we're writing. And when you're writing, you really don't have to think about the letter that you're writing once you've written so many times because your hand just remembers what it feels like to write it. For example, whenever you write your name, like if I write my name, I didn't have to think about every single letter I wrote because not only do I remember what the letter looks like, but my hand has written that letter so many times, my hand kind of remembers what that letter looks like. Even other animals have muscle memory. For example, dogs that run obstacle courses a lot of times will have run it so many times that their muscles know what to do whenever the obstacle comes up. Or whenever you play a sport, whenever you, let's say you're swimming for example, you remember how to make those movements, how to move quickly through the water. That's muscle memory. You've done it so many times that not only does your brain remember it, your muscles do too. And if you don't play sports, maybe you play a video game, that's also muscle memory. Whenever you play a level so many times, like let's say you're playing Mario and you've played this level four or five times, you actually start to get the muscle memory to the buttons you need to press to jump, run, hit blocks, things like that, and that helps you get through it a lot faster. So now that we kind of know what muscle memory is, I'm gonna do a activity with you that's gonna help you build muscle memory, and it's gonna help you build muscle memory specifically related to art. So for this, all you're gonna need is a pencil, some paper, and you're gonna need to pick an object. It can be something outside, like I could pick those patio chairs or the bush, or it can be something you have in front of you, like I'm actually gonna be using this uh, soda can to draw. And basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your object and only your object. You're not gonna look at the paper, you're just gonna look at the object and you're gonna draw the object on the paper. So I'm gonna record myself drawing the object, but I'm gonna be looking at the object. So while you're drawing the object, it's important to remember that you're gonna be trying to capture what the object kind of looks like. These aren't gonna look perfect and they're definitely probably not gonna look like the object that you're drawing exactly, but it's important that you have the essence of the object there. So you can tell that what I'm drawing is a soda can, even if it doesn't really look like a soda can exactly. All right, so I want you to take a look at your first drawing and kind of remember that. Keep that there. If you have room, you can do it on the same page. If not, you can do it on another one, but definitely keep your first drawing. And then using the same object that you used before, you're gonna try it again. Okay, and what you should see is that it's actually gonna to start to look a little bit more like the object each time you do it. So this one is kind of a little lopsided and it looks a little weird. You know, you can tell it's a soda can, kind of, cause you know that's what I'm drawing. This one looks much more like a soda can, even though it's a little bit messier, you can tell that the shape is the same and you can actually make out that it's a soda can without me having to point out that it's a soda can. And yours might not improve a lot on the second try, and that's okay. I encourage you to keep going and keep trying it with different objects. This is something really fun to do if you're in like a waiting room and you have paper too. It can be really fun to just kind of occupy your time. But the important part of this exercise is that the more that you copy this soda can, the more your hand's going to start to remember what the shape of a soda can feels like. And then the next time you try to draw a soda can while looking at one, and you're allowed to look at your paper, you'll actually be able to draw it more. And you'll be able to draw it with better accuracy. Your soda can that you draw while looking at a soda can will look more like a soda can the more you go. So it started to rain, so we had to head inside. But 
I hope you enjoyed our little activity over muscle memory, and I want you to send me anything that you make with it. And also, I want you to think about other ways that you've used muscle memory. Like if you play a sport, maybe tell me what your sport uses muscle memory for, like when you kick a soccer ball or when you dribble a basketball. Um, so yeah, bye!